Hello, thank you for your participation in this disaster simulation. The coordinator has selected a role for you today. Once the coordinator has given me the signal, I will explain your injury and symptoms. To replay the last message, please press the replay button. Thank you. Okay, so we're ready now to start the simulation. Attention, attention, attention. The coordinator has signaled the start of the simulation. Please be prepared to hear your instructions. You may have multiple injuries, so it is important to listen carefully. Once they have all been read, you may press the replay push button located next to the audio input jack. Moderate bleeding. You have moderate bleeding and your pulse is half as strong as it should be. You are bleeding enough to fill up your hand every 10 minutes. If you would like to hear your symptoms again, please push or play the button located next to the audio input jack after I'm finished speaking. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the replay button. Moderate bleeding. You have moderate bleeding and your pulse is half as strong as it should be. You are bleeding enough to fill up your hand every 10 minutes. If you would like to hear your symptoms again, please push or play the button located next to the audio input jack after I'm finished speaking. Okay, so now the paramedic comes up to our actor and they're going to check the pulse. And when it does, you'll be able to see um, it will send the actor's ID, uh, the action code, and then the treatment code. You can't see this, but it's actually pulsing like a pulse. Okay, so now we're going to check the breathing, uh, because again the paramedic does not know what the symptoms are, so they're going to check to see if the uh, airway is blocked. So the coordinator is able to see that the paramedic um, check the, the airway and uh, let's go ahead and check the pulse one more time and it also gives the time that these things happen at so if you had multiple actors in the field say 50 or 100 uh, then you'd be able to see the different uh, actors IDs and all this information is just stored on an SD card uh, archived and uh, that way they can take a look at it later but uh, so our paramedic, they're doing triage, so they're going to take their RFID tags and they'll select one of them that they're going to um, designate the person as. And the LED light uh, lights up and indicates what they are. So if they thought that the person was dead, lights them all up. Or if it's just uh, minor, then uh, it's just the bottom one. Now if uh, you want to have a complicated scenario, you'd actually be able to then uh, instigate the next uh, round in the scenario. And to do that you just advance. And so depending on what the wound is, and if uh, triage has happened, if they've been sorted, um, then our actor uh, might be receiving uh, new instructions on escalation of their wound.